Cubases, you can also record audio, of course. So you can record a guitar, you can record your vocals, you can record a bass, you can record a synth, for example. Anything you want, you can just record it into Cubases. And the way to do this is you just need to go and add an audio channel, like this. And now you have quite a few options. You can, of course, use your internal microphone on your device to record any audio, but you can also use an audio interface like what I have here to record your vocals, your guitars, whatever you want. And in this case, I'm going to record a guitar. As you can see, I have my guitar here. It's plugged into my interface. And if you check here on my routing, I'm recording from mono input two, which on my audio interface is my high Z input. So I can record my guitar straight away. Now, what I've done here, because I want to also get a little bit of the feel of the track, and this is like a synth wave track. I want to actually have some effects on my guitar so I can get into the feel and perform accordingly. So this is how it works. I have my guitar here. I record and enable it. And then I also activate my monitoring here. And now I can listen through this chain of effects. <laughs> So here's the channel strip. So what I have here is I have a low cut filter for my guitar. I have a noise gate to avoid any buzz noises when I don't play. I have a compressor and I have just a tiny hair of saturation. And next I'm following this with an amp simulator. In this case, I have the vintage model because I like it for this kind of track. And then I have a chorus. And last but not least, I have a rotary speaker. So we get this kind of sound. <laughs> So this is way more inspiring than having this sound, for example, which is just the DI guitar. In this case, I'm adding also some delay with ascend effects, and I'm going to turn all these back on. And now all I need to do is hit record, and we can start recording our guitar. And it goes without saying that if I change my mind now and I want to change any of the effects, I recorded my guitar part clean. So I can just go ahead and change any of the settings. I can change the amp simulator, for example, and choose a different model, play a little bit with the sounds. Everything is customizable even after I've laid down my recording. Now let me give you another example. I'm going to record some vocal harmonies and for this I have connected my microphone to input number one on my interface. So I have created another channel that's assigned to input number one and actually I have multiple channels like this so I can start recording my vocal harmonies. And in this case I have a channel strip, a studio EQ for my vocals and also a reverb and a delay send effect. And it goes without saying that because I have my monitor button activated here I can hear those reverbs and delays straight away along with the compression and the EQ. So let's record some harmonies. So this is how you record audio in Cubases, have fun and I'll see you in the next video. Yeah.